Zoho came out with a, a pretty exciting self-service BI, uh, you know, uh, and why don't you take this one, uh, uh, Daniel? Yeah, no problem at all. I think what was really interesting about this Zoho is, and you know, the operating system Zoho One, the operating system for business, fifty apps and a single, you know, single set of tools, really has a sweet spot in that small mid market. Of course, has found its way up the market into larger and larger enterprises, and this is just one more ad. And the company was really excited about it, and I had the chance to get demoed and briefed in advance on this thing and seeing how it works. And I'll tell you this: is the first thing if you ever want validation from an analyst. I was watching them demonstrate how their be their their self serve BI platform worked, and the first thing I said to the guys, I need to I need this, like I need to try this for my own business because it just looked so usable. And that's the one thing, you know, in a lot of uh, mid market and smaller organizations, you don't have the the manpower, the personnel, you don't have all the systems of record, the ability to use you know dozens if not hundreds of APIs, whether it's your QuickBooks all the way up to a full integrated stack with something like a Zendesk to be able to bring in all this data, to be able to visualize data, make decisions and employ and deploy um, technology. You know, so this self-serve BI is really all about, you know, the low code, no code uh, space that we're in of giving more power and more democratization to more users that are business minded, that aren't necessarily technologically minded to be able to pull from uh, the, the vast systems of record and data sets and be able to create meaningful visualization um, that you can use in your business decision making. Um, Zoho, once again, is simplifying the process, building key integrations. You know, it's got mar marketplace integrations with this thing, everything from Shopify to ServiceNow uh, from and, and in the Zendesk, Microsoft, MailChimp, Stripe, whatever you're using. And, I, and I, I like that too, because that's really goes back to that story of being able to support a small company all the way up to a large enterprise. Now, it's a private company, don't get a lot of visibility into, you know, specific revenues and growth, but their analytics business is growing in that 30 to 40% range. That is something they were willing to share. Um, and that, you know, overall, I just continue to be impressed. They're quietly yet, you know, visible uh, in coming out and sort of addressing a massive gap in the market, giving that end-to-end -end tool set that companies need and making it, you know, like I said, making it usable, achievable, uh, and implementable inside of companies of various sizes, with various technical resources. So good on Zoho. Congratulations on the launch. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Continue to watch. And by the way, I intend to put this to the test. So I'll have to come back and let you know how that goes. Ooh, 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 I love it. I love it. That's interesting. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Uh, I hadn't heard of Zoho up until uh, three or four years ago, uh, which, you know, uh, I'm a little embarrassed about. Uh, I've really been focusing on, on some of the larger U.S. folks. But what I find just ironic is that Zoho is running the play that everybody wants to run right now. They did it before Microsoft. They did it before Oracle. They did it before Salesforce, which is essentially a full stack uh, offering all the way down to the hardware, right? Which, by the way, unless uh, Salesforce ends up buying an IaaS provider, we'll, we'll never get there. Uh, and the ability to to tweak up and down, and, and some people uh, think that Zoho doesn't do a lot of business uh, in the U.S. and Western Europe. In fact, they do more business in the U.S. and Western Europe than they do uh, uh, anywhere else. They're just focused more on 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 uh, the mid market and and small businesses. Uh, it, what I wish I could talk about was some of the NDA slides that uh, were provided that showed uh, uh, companies that, with big brands, by the way, that leverage uh, Zoho's platform and they white label it brands that Americans would know. And, and I'm dying to tell you uh, which one of these brands is in, in specific, but um, anyway, super, super, super impressive, you know, if the company would do a huge marketing push, I, I think it'd be it'd be scary to see what, what they can do. But you know, they're they're very happy with the, the methodical way that they're doing this. Um, you know, they're doing a lot of um, uh, smart digital uh, marketing. They're not going out and you know leveraging uh, an F one or a or or something uh, like that. But but they really let the product uh, and kind of their method and their culture. Uh, speak uh, for itself. By the way, they're an Austin company. Just uh, my 
want to add that as uh, you're moving uh, here to Austin. Hopefully, uh, uh, we could both uh, spend more time with them now that we're post-pandemic. 